Today in the crypto space, we see the market taking a further dip. Bitcoin down approximately 3.3%, down to about 64,800. Ethereum down approximately 4%, below that $3,500 mark. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins are deep in the red. We have some really, really good dips that we could be definitely DCAing at these levels. Today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator, but more importantly, I want to talk about one project that is coming down to those critical, critical levels, and that project is called near near protocol so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here with the general market generally you can see the market cap is falling the total market cap of the crypto space is falling and we see the volume increasing suggesting that there is market participation there are individuals that are getting in on this uh, on this dump the reality is it's a low volume it's not a major volume but it is there bitcoin coming down to lower levels critical levels for that matter it might be looking for another lower low here um and falling to much lower levels ethereum dipped and a lot of the um all coins currently are rolling over and dipping look at ton coin and many many others all the bullish projects near protocol of course we're going to be talking about today you can see that it's been rolling over and many projects are in a fire sale a lot of them are in double digit dips we have dips all over the market and the question is should we be scaling in now the, the, that's a very critical thing because we don't want to be catching a falling knife but at the end of the day we still want to have a bit of exposure to this price to the prices that we have right now because you never know we could get a recovery but it's all about position size guys just because you feel like you want to buy some it doesn't mean that you have to go all in at this current level i prefer going all in or getting into bigger positions once the structure is formed but in the meantime i don't mind deploying a bit of capital bit by bit right i already have been deploying capital as we were coming down even at this slightly at this before we broke down i bought a little bit and i keep on buying i keep on buying and bit by bit but then i get in heavier bags as i see structure i feel like the majority of the fall of this dip is already in you know i feel i feel like we could come down a bit more but i think the majority is already in before we get a bullish response i think we're due for a bullish response a lot of these altcoins are making these lower lows that eventually would suggest extensions will ex uh, suggest that you know it's time for a bit of relief or a bullish response and then maybe we make a lower high unfortunately make a lower high come down for another lower low and maybe there's a trend to the downside that continues for a little bit more longer however guys it's critical that bitcoin shows support at certain zones so that we can keep this price so we can keep the market still propped up here because if not are we going to get back into a bear market and that would be a very very unfortunate thing my conviction is is that we're coming down to capitulate some individuals to get a few people wrecked and then to continue to the upside we have theta network and many others thor chain coming down brett is coming down many many projects says down 27 percent in the last seven days so that's a, a great opportunity there gala many double digit dips according uh, to this chart you can see already it's all also down 30% if you're interested in that. Chilies and many, many more. Guys, time to buy dips. Time to be prepared. It's time, time, it's time to look for setups that get you into entries with great risk to reward opportunities at the bottom of the range. All right, guys, I know you're here to talk about charts, so let's begin let's take a look at bitcoin let's see what's going on here bitcoin as we speak is still pushing to lower levels 64,200, and it's pushing through this little little volume gap the question is do we get support off this volume gap or do we come down to range lows let's look at this in a little bit more detail as you can see we double topped we came down we broke we broke structure we basically changed the character of the structure currently we're working on that we made a lower low below this low do we come up make another lower low and a lower high and then all of a sudden come down 
for a lower low and then we make a lower low lower high type of scenario where the trend is your friend and we're coming down the thing is, is that we are currently battling this little volume gap which is fine i don't feel like we're going to get support there but it could be possible and what would get me interested is a bit of structure some sort of hesitation that we build maybe a nice little rounded bottom or something like that maybe i'll put a stop loss and expect a bounce a nice recovery but this level here at about 60,500 is what i'm interested in. why because the reality is bitcoin is still in a very very bullish structure big picture right impulsive move sideways price action that's a bull flag continuation to the upside now if it's going to happen we most likely are going to come down to test the bottom of the range at 60,000 and hopefully we get that bounce and if we don't and if we get a bounce right around where we are currently, it's all good. We could expect a nice recovery in the altcoin market, Bitcoin, and everything will get back into the green. And ultimately, um, we, we have short-term memory loss. We'll forget about all this negativity and see all those gains right back. But in the meantime, I, what I would suggest is prepare for buying opportunities. You know, raise capital, do what you got to do to have some dry powder on the side, ready to deploy right around this level. And once we get to this level, as soon as we see a structure that looks interesting guys will be buying the dip now just keep in mind that yesterday i did mention that look this fractal this scenario right here looks very similar to what happened right here we broke through the lows we came down tweezer bottom and bounced right back into the structure and continue to the upside what about if this happens right here we come down tweezer bottom railroad track straight back up get back into the structure back test the structure and go to back to range highs and maybe even break out it's all very possible but until we get those tweezer bottoms or any type of structure down here to suggest a pivot guys i can't get bullish i currently short-term bearish down to these levels if it gets here then we'll reassess once we get there but at the current level guys we have to be very careful we see that bitcoin momentum is definitely pushing down still no signs of um, you know weakness here for the bears we, we could get into oversold conditions we can see the expansion come back in we can see volatility stay here in the oversold mark for a good while before we get a nice bounce to the upside so in the meantime bearish it is maybe volatility is going to start pushing to the upside but in the meantime how can i get bullish when the momentum is facing down and everything else is looking pretty weak here the trend guys the trend is what looks the worst in my opinion as you can see the emas are facing down red instagram bars to the downside the blue expansion suggesting no indication of a reversal at this current moment it's very likely that we start seeing this thing push down a little bit further um in the media short term so be careful here at entering fresh longs on bitcoin because right now we're trying to catch that falling knife and you can see as we speak it is still pushing to lower levels all right guys let's move on today we're going to talk about near protocol let's see what near has to offer near at the end of the day is looking great as far as a retracement if you're looking to scale in if you've been waiting on the sidelines trying to buy dips near protocol is where it's at it's actually a great zone four dollars and sixty cents as you can see we're testing the previous high right here we got a bit of a wick here before you know we hunted that liquidity we got a quick reversal nice rounded top and at this level i did make a video whether it be live or even a dedicated video such such as this one i did mention guys this is a breakout zone and as a breakout i'm not a breakout trader but as a breakout trader you should be very critical because ultimately this is buying the top and if you were expecting this inverse head and shoulder multiple shoulders head multiple sh shoulders complex inverse head and shoulder to break out bullish well at this moment you basically got rejected and got wrecked as you can see and as a breakout trader um, you would have to put a stop loss to mitigate your risk and it would be very difficult where to find that placement but at this current level you can see that we're at the bottom of the range again we're basically at the bottom of the volume gap $4.57 is where we start to enter a zone where risk to reward looks pretty good Be because ultimately we got the, the nice high right here. And if you look at what's happening, if we kind of look at more price action, you can see we have a bit of a volume gap right into here, an empty space, a weak spot. And this weak spot could suggest that we get support right here at $4.47 and which we already kind of bounced off of. Now, I'm not going to front run this. I'm not going to be, you know, try to catch this falling knife. I do see a bit of volume coming into this dip i can see the spike of red 
But ultimately, as we come down to this level, if we do get a structure, some sort of W, inverse head and shoulders, cup and handle, Adam and Eve with bullish divergence, or we might even get something like this where we get a V recovery. Guys, if we get a V recovery here, to be honest, I wouldn't even really care. I've planned on buying a little bit into here. DCA, small bags only. Once we build the structure, I'll deploy a lot more because with the structure becomes a setup where I can put a stop loss. I know where to put the stop loss. At this current zone, I don't know where to put the stop loss. We could fall right through. In fact, the next target for me is $2.88 based on this previous low, based on a little bit of a volume gap that we got all the way down here and ultimately is going to be testing some of the weak hands and the liquidity at these levels. So just keep in mind, guys, there's a lot of people such as myself that got into positions on near protocol all the way down here, DCAing all into these green arrows and all of a sudden getting a nice pop to the upside. So we have to understand that there's people in profits that are still selling off and trying to you know, exit their bags and really a bullish response will require a nice reversal pattern here at the bottom and then eventually we can start going long we can put a stop loss and do our thing right so a bit of volume shows me that maybe the market is interested now as far as momentum goes look we're oversold guys there's a lot of confluence here oversold in every single way momentum expansion volatility all oversold and ready to start looking for divergences. If we get a class A bullish divergence into this zone, I would consider deploying even more capital because that's an indication. We're starting to build confluence and confidence in some of the price action. And of course, if we do get a bullish divergence, that's one clue closer towards a reversal. The fact that we're oversold means that we need to pay attention for it, right? Because that's where the best opportunities lie. And then you can see the trend. Unfortunately, the trend, there's no indication of bullishness, not even a reversal in this current moment. EMAs are facing down, ready to grab bars to the downside, and the expansion is full force. Nice dark blue. If we do see it convert to pale blue, then I start to say, you know what? Maybe it's possible that we do get that reversal. And of course, an EMA cross with a nice little green uh, histogram bar, at least give me one as a confirmation. Then we might see that pivot to the upside. And finally, maybe start rolling over where we can start reclaiming previous price action. But in the current moment, Guys, in the current moment, I have to be aware that this is a great level. 10%. Get in with 10 to 20% of your dry powder that you got. Reserve a little bit more here. Another 10 to 20%. And wherever we build structure, we'll deploy the rest bit by bit and hammer in and eventually build that position so that we can see that recovery back to previous highs and make those gains. Guys, if I've offered you any value in this video, do the, the channel a massive favor. Slap the like button. It does really help out with the algorithm. If you want to follow me on the socials, the links are in the description below. Feel free to join the Discord, guys. The Discord is where it's at. Lots of good alpha trade setups, fundamentals, and learning material take care guys see you tonight and don't forget buy the dip